Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So after a nice long trek in the forest with our two newly launched devices, Garmin GPS Map 65S and 66SR, we are back with another video. But hold on, before we move on, I hope you have watched our last video and liked it. Matthew, could you please explain like what all this video will contain? Yes, sure. We will be taking the data out of uh, these both uh, devices. We will see how to mark waypoints on the software and how to make routes on the software. And uh, we will be covering some of the uh, basic as well as advanced features of uh, Garmin Basecamp software. To search for Garmin Basecamp in uh, Google search. So this is the first link. We need to download this software. You need to scroll down. I am using Windows, so I will go with this one. Let's wait for it to download. Okay, now the download has finished. I need to click Agree. Yeah, so now we are completed uh, with the setup. I'll click on launch. First, let us uh, set this up. So you need to go to edit and then options. So here are the first uh, options that you have is measurement. So in measurement, you need to select uh, the uh, measurement system that you plan to use. So by default, it is this. If I want to change it, I have an option of metric as well as nautical. You can also go with custom if you want to mix it up. like that and this is uh, how you want the compass to be set and here you need to set uh, the position format that you wish to use so I'll be using uh, this one and datum can be set here moving on to the next one here you can see some options which are needed for first time use I'll change the symbol size to larger so that uh, it appears big on the screen and yeah you can also change the map font to the uh, to any font that you like I'll keep it as knockout and increase the text size to 11 Here for the first time users one feature which is important is this you can set this to maybe two seconds uh, this is actually the duration after which uh, the uh, tooltip help will automatically show once you uh, just go on the icon so you can set this uh, low if you want to uh, start off with basecam so that you get as as much help as you need this uh, features you don't need to change and then in general yeah if you are speaking some other languages you can select from here and set it and if uh, more than one uh, person is using the base camp for their own use then you can create a new uh, new database for each person using this so that's all uh, what you need to set it uh, before using garmin base camp you need to connect uh, the uh, device which is Garmin 66SR in my case uh, with the laptop. Once you have connected uh, the device using the USB cable, you need to click on internal storage here and the data will appear right below it on the left side. Here you have three types of uh, data. One is the waypoints that you have marked, second is the routes that you have planned and third is the track log that has been generated. So if I click on uh, the track log for the trek and click on show on map, it will show me exactly the path that we have taken. This is the track log of it. If I double click it, it will open up a window along with uh, the point by point data of the track. So each point is called a track point. And here you can see some more uh, information in detail. If I go to graph, I can also view the graph. So this was the top of the fort from where we came down all the way down here. So you can see the uh, distance, the elevation as well as the grade. So if you add some nodes, it will be done here. Now if I want to export this data, I can click print here.
so here you can set up your page as per your need the lat long as well as uh, the track will be formed here and you can just click print you can also increase uh, the uh, detailing of what you see on the screen by going to view going to toolbars and uh, enabling the detail level from here so once you do this uh, you will see this a uh, new uh, option here you can scroll down and set it to highest and uh, more uh, detailing will be there on the map that you are going to see if i want to download a new bird's eye imagery i need to go to bird's eye click download imagery now this orange box will appear so this will help us to select the area so i'll select a new place which i want to track next I'll click continue. I'll click download and set this to the highest. So this will now verify my device and uh, start downloading this. GPS Map 66 is the first uh, device which has uh, lifetime free satellite imagery along with it so let's wait for it to get downloaded i can select uh, this tab which will help to copy the imagery direct to device after the download so i will have the data on my pc as well as inside the device bird size satellite imagery has been finally downloaded you can see it here it is saved as track 2 so this has also been sent to the device now Okay so let's uh, see how good the data is I'll just zoom it in so as we see the data is quite good in clarity so by using this I can do my planning for making uh, routes and other uh, things along the way so now let's explore uh, a bit of the uh, base camp basics So this is the waypoint icon. If you want to make a new waypoint, you need to click here, and you can select any point here. So I will plan my route along this way. We'll be starting from here. So this is my first point. If I want to rename it, I need to click here. I'll rename it as point one. I can change the symbol so that it is easier to understand. There. Similarly, I can make multiple points. This will rename as point two. so let's make one more last one this will be point 3 okay so if you want to move this screen uh, remember to change from this to this this hand symbol you need to select if you want to move and drag the screen okay now that we have done with three points let's see what more can be done okay now let's see what all options are there when we right click a waypoint if you click on open you can see you have this up here if you just want to show the symbol you can click here and it will just show you the symbol and this icon will be gone this might be useful in some cases uh, where you don't want your screen to get cluttered but uh, we will keep it 
because uh, we want to know which point it is you can add some notes about this waypoints here so that once you open it inside your device about this place or where you want to go from here next is we will plan how to make a new route and uh, use the route planner so this is the icon for it you can select uh, the activity which you want to do here so let's keep it as hiking i can select the start point here and then i can plan my way according to this like this i will need to draw my route which i plan so once you are done you just need to right click it and uh, the route will be made here you can see the route name it's from point 1 to point 3 if i want to rename it i can do it from here if i want to play back this route and see how this will happen that's the way to do it so this will slowly play back on the path uh, which you will be taking once i have made the uh, route which i plan to trek if i want to send this uh, to my handheld garmin gps map 66 sr or the uh, new 65s i just need to select uh, the route this will be highlighted then and then on the left side i can see it i can just uh, right click it and then i can send it to the device i'll click okay now the uh, route has been sent to the uh, device successfully another way to send uh, data is like if i want to uh, send over these waypoints 1 2 3 i can control click and uh, select these all i can go to device send to device from here send selection Uh, suppose if you want to uh, measure the area of this land plot or if you want to measure the length from point A to point B then you need to take this measurement tool from here click it and then let's take point A and here you can see point B so now it will show me the distance in feet as well as the true uh, compass direction which is 37 degrees so similarly i can just keep on doing it to calculate the area of this plot this is a good feature if you want to do some kind of surveying and all virtually so once it is done you can see the area in the orange box this is uh, giving me 1 uh, lakh square feet as of now so if you want to uh, do a new area calculation and uh, remove what you are seeing on the screen you need to press escape you can see one arrow over here which is uh, actually the compass so if you just hover on top of it you will see some detailing here so this feature is used to zoom in and zoom out and uh, this feature is used to uh move across the screen and this is used to change your uh direction of uh, viewing so in case uh, somehow uh you need to quickly align this to the north you, you can just uh go to to uh view and then align north up 
so this will automatically now point the map upwards you can also do panning using this hand tool click on the hand and then just pan like this by dragging it and you can zoom using this tool Garmin Basecamp is compatible with a wide uh, variety of devices it is uh, almost compatible with all of the devices that uh, have a USB input so these are the following devices which are not compatible with Garmin Basecamp so these were the legacy devices that uh, used to link using a serial port so apart from these all of the Garmin uh, uh, devices which take in uh, USB they are compatible so earlier these models uh, used to come with a trip and waypoint manager software as a CD along with the purchase so right now that is uh, discontinued and is no longer available so uh, Garmin uh, Basecamp is the new software for this purpose we hope you like this uh, video on Garmin Basecamp if you have any doubts you can put them in the comment section okay thank you so much Matthew the video was quite nicely explained by Matthew and guys if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe it right now because we'll be bringing you a lot of information thank you for watching thank you